It's been a minute. I know. <laughs> too, too, Hi. Jay. Hi, guys. Hey. Chris, my Horatio Hummingbird just paid me a visit. I oh, just good. I name all my little birds and little animal friends. I don't know what hell the hell it is. They've been <laughs> around. I just filled yeah. I just filled up with Is that a neck. grand piano in the back? Who me? Yeah. No. Nice. You just now noticing that? I just noticed. And a giant dog right here too. Oh, oh, my God. God. Is that Gilly or is that what's the other one? Oh that, my that's Gilly. Gilly. So cute. I'm getting I'm getting a giant piano too and putting it put, putting it right behind me. <laughs> I have no room. I have no room for that. <laughs> And I can't yeah. play. I was gonna say, can you, you play? play? Do you play? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you, Chris? Chris plays. Well, I can play a tune. That's all I need to do. You can just fake something for five minutes. You're like, no, please, no more. I just can't. <laughs> Tanya does probably doesn't remember this, but my parents paid for me to take piano lessons. And instead of going to piano, I would go hang out with these heifers. And you know, so now I can't play piano. I thought you gonna blame me for your for your mess. No, 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 no. That's not how this works, boo boo. I had FOMO way back then. <laughs> Whatever. No fingers for piano. I play a mean tambourine. That's all I got. <laughs> That's it. I don't even have That's that good now. Um. So we bypassed last week because married at first sight. Nashville decided to screw us and make us wait for Shaq's response, which I thought was absolutely asinine, but here we are. It didn't disappoint, though. She's like this. <laughs> okay. I okay. already knew he was going to, let's start with them, because I already knew he was going to say no when they halted it last week. No, let's start with the clown outfit first. Oof. What the fuck was that? It had yellow. It wasn't even uniform. It had yellow on one sleeve, <laughs> purple on another. The back was. And he looked like if he put some big shoes on and a red thing, I'd be like, oh, here comes the. That was looked awful. I looked that awful. That shocked to me. me though. It, it, that really shocked me that he came out like that. Did he have a bow tie on too? Mm, I, I don't think, think he, he had a bow tie. And but he made this, is, all this is the this is the generation now. These guys today, I mean, all you, you, you turn on any NBA game, and well, NBA game we see these, these they're wearing crazy guys. stuff, exactly. They're, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, this, was, this was this has been crazy. This was just ugly. ugly. Don't you miss, yeah, don't you miss the, the Pat Riley days where he had hair slick, he had a suit on, Armani, yes. all the brothers had that their suits on, came in to take care of business. That part, basic, a nice, yeah. well tailored suit, black, gray, navy, not these high water khakis, knickers. They're wearing knickers. And don't even get me started on the purses. I'm sorry. I don't need no man carrying no damn purse. I don't care if it's Birkin, I don't give a hairy rat's ass. If it is the top of the line, one of a kind, Louis Vuitton, you know, Hermes, whatever, you as a man should not be carrying a purse. A purse. Deal breaker. Merce. Them little, yeah, Merce. Them little tired ass suits. So seeing Shaq dressed like that and Aris, Aris had some weird colored suit on too with some cranberry ass shirt mm -hmm. on. I'm not surprised that these gentlemen of today are dressing, these young men are dressing like that because look at who they're looking at. I mean, ASAP Rocky showed up at the Met Gala with a kilt. You That's ain't surprised. That's a little different. They're I don't care. care. Crazy. And but but I I had his whole ass out, body painted. Come on. I didn't know Fetty Wap was in jail. Trafficking, cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin. Yeah. Cheers. Damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so rap, rap game's not working, so, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I guess not. Good God. 
But uh, guys, right. I went back and I listened to what we said about um, sh- spe- specifically okay. Shaq and um, why do you want to call her Sharice? What the hell is her name? Kirsten. 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 Went back. So everybody kind of thought that Shaq. We all knew that Shaq was going to say no, mm-hmm. but we also were saying that she was going to say no first. Right. And I thought that when um, she said yes, that shocked me. Yes, it did. It shocked me too. Mm-hmm. I was not because I because all the whole time she had been saying basically she's not giving me what I need and I don't feel like we're there. And even up until like you know two weeks ago, she was just like you know mm, I don't I'm, I'm I don't really feel it. So when she said yes, I was just like and and then so hurt. That he said no, right? That surprised me. I, I I honest I honestly thought that if she had not had sex with him, she would have said she would have said no. She would have held on to that Gina vibe or whatever. But I think she because even in the after in the after thing with her and and Nicole, whatever, when they were talking, she's like, now I got to date again. Now I have to be out there and wait again. I think if she had, I think once. Shaq got that power of after they had sex, and then then he started acting weird. I think that's that changed for her because I think she was, and I don't know if she was. I, I don't know if she was just trying to save face, or she knew he was going to say no. But she, I don't think she didn't seem very hurt. I thought she seemed like shocked. Oh, she's a little shocked. shocked. She I, gave I, the I, fingers. She gave the, the fingers walking out of that that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and at the and what you missed at the um after, after oh, okay. when they yeah. all got to when the, the all of them got together, Mac and Dom and all of them got together mm-hmm. and having drinks and food. Um, she she showed it like she. I don't know if she if it's more of she's hurt because she wanted to stay married to him. I'm thinking. That her ego is a ego. little hurt. Yeah, ego. I think ego. I, I think that she's just feeling some sort of way, and that's why she's given that attitude when they were eating that dinner, and she's mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, no, it's a no for me." When he's like, you know, when when they were asking, "Well, is the door open?" Like for to have a conversation in the future, and she's mm-hmm. like, "No, that door is closed," and she was not nice about it. Like her tone and how she was putting it out there was just not nice. Um, so I think she's. I think she's just hurt. I think he and he was it. and he was hopeful. Or say he said maybe now. I don't know. Could be. I was like, who who, who are you talking to? Right. <laughs> exactly. Like, what? dude, how do you do this? Like two days later, you're like, you now I want a divorce, and then like a day and a half later, you're like, well, we'll see what happens. You yes. know, I still want to be your friend, motherfucker. You just told her you want a divorce, and now you want to be my buddy. You want to go from my husband. To my buddy, we're not doing that. They, well, they always do that. The the one that says no always feels like compelled to be like, you know, well, I hope that we could still be friends and blah, you know, we we still have you know some kind of chemistry, and it's it's never the case. Listen, I think let's, he was just let's talking just and be talking like let's Eris just... taking care of the dog, huh? Like they Eris are. wanting to come take care of the dog, and she said to her mother. He ain't coming to get that fucking dog. You know, come but on. In the, I think they're cheering it up that they, he's going to do a dog sit with uh with Clint, aren't they? It wasn't that for next week or something. They're, yes, they're, they're that was dog. yes. He does have the dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, Shaquille just needs to own the fact that he's going to have a healthy gay relationship sexual relationship good. he's going to find yeah, his soulmate is really. out there and <laughs> him and his man are going to have the best life together he just needs to just admit it and when his friends when he had his friend over with his wife and they're like well what's next for you and he's just like well you know i didn't really know and i'm like i'm looking at their fr- his friends like are you gonna say something to this brother and be like i gotta i gotta a new co-worker that I work with, he's very handsome. I think like Eris, like Eris was just all like, oh, we, so we gotta get into him. You got friends. I feel like with Shaq, I it was funny because <laughs> I really liked him in the very beginning, yeah. but towards the middle, I I disliked him more and more every week. Yeah, I he went out like I don't know. I think he played games. 
I think he was very whiny. Uh, yeah. uh, he didn't want her, but instead of being a little bit more direct about it, he was really kind of passive aggressive and kind of mean to her. And whereas I didn't like her as much, I liked her a little bit better, you know, towards the end, especially, and I always keep going back to that one tape that we saw where he came in the house and she's laying on the couch and like, you want anything to eat? And he wasn't even speaking to her. Like, did you have an argument with this woman like two hours ago and you decided that you're just not going to speak? That's You don't walk in a house and not speak. Mm-hmm. That was rude. So I, I didn't like him. So I, I'm I'm so glad. Tina, he I think if, if she had held out and not had sex with him, I think he would be much more, you know, eager to stay in it or whatever. But I he think once he got, yeah, but he I think once it. he got the booty, he was like, yeah, I don't know. No, it's like it seems it seems as though like once he got the booty, he became a little bit more needier. Like he was, it was always about. I mean. It, I, I'm, I'm like you, Shahida, and thinking like it was like, what else could she have possibly done? I mean, he was upset that obviously I get it. He wanted to meet her father, you know, because she's she kept saying she wanted a man like her dad. I get that, but he was just always like, well, you're just not there for me. Like, bro, what do you that was want? Annoying. Me? Like, you want me to be like, you want? I have a life. Like, I have a career. I will do my best to support you. And come to like some of your events with you and stuff. But there's going to be times where that's just not going to be able to happen. He he pouts. And that is just unbecoming mm-hmm. on a man for me. And like I've been saying since the beginning, Kirsten needs that rah-rah dude. She needs a dude that's a little bit more mm-hmm. alpha that's going to be like, come here, woman. But he wasn't, he wasn't all super alpha and she wanted him. She was attract. She she got into him after a while, which we thought would grow. But I don't think she. I don't think she wants a freaking thug. I didn't say she wanted a thug. I just. I think she just needed a little bit more a man that's a little bit more assertive and a little bit more masculine. Let's just I'm call surprised. it what it is. I'm surprised he, he is, there's nothing masculine about Shaquille to me. I'm surprised they haven't done an heiress an heiress Kirsten thing. You know what I mean? Like an implication, or you know what I mean, or a set them up or whatever. Nah. I don't think Ari- I mean I don't think Aris is her type though I, I don't think Aris is attractive period so I don't know if she would be into him she was more into Clint when Clint took off his shirt she was like checking that, that part. out mm-hmm. that part yeah mm-hmm. yep. mm-hmm. <laughs> alright who we gonna jump to next oh, let's go to Aris and his uh, fuck boy Aris as I call him he legit Proved from the rip that he is just an absolute piece of shit. He was so upset when she said no. And I am so grateful that they let her go first. Mm -hmm. Because she deserved that moment because he's such a shitty ass person. But she, she deserved that moment to be say no and then give her reason. But she was respectful. She was respectful in her reason. And then they asked him, and because he was so in his feelings, he became disrespectful. And then she said, let me check this little bitch. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but she she um, she stayed in her moment. I was very proud of her because I was on the fence. Because And, and remember how we all kept saying, like, every time he says a little bit something like, you know, we think that she was falling for it a little bit more, but she was just playing the game. She was just sitting yeah. in the cut and she just knew what she was going to do. So I totally respect her for that. I agree. She dragged his ass and I was there for it all. I was like, go ahead, Miss Jasmine. And again, like Kirsten, he got his feelings hurt. His ego was crushed. And then that's when he had to pull out the, you know, you wasn't. What did what did he what did he say he about, her? about her? Um, self esteem. He looks in the yeah. mirror and he tells himself he loves him, and then he. Oh, hugs that was himself. rude. Yeah, what was what was that about? I was yeah, like, you know, his feelings was hurt, and he didn't know what the hell to say. So he was trying to come up with something, and all he did was just vomit words. You think he would have stayed? You think if she said yes, he would have stayed? No, I don't. I think he wanted to be. I want. He wanted to be the one to say no. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't think he was gonna. I don't think he was ever gonna stay with her. Right. Exactly. No. He was having sex with her the entire time. Right. Mm-hmm. And he no. was just saying all these things, like you know, there's a chance, and you know, we're making these connections. He was lying the entire. Mm-hmm. There's no way a man has even if he likes you a little bit, he's gonna sleep with you. After eight weeks and you're married? Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. She's rubbing your feet, rubbing your back, and mm-hmm. it, it, didn't they play the game? And uh, come on, come now, on. Now, why wouldn't you think that Eris could be gay? If he talks, that's what such, I'm not. he talks <laughs> such big shit about all these women and all his bravado, like yeah, you know, I'm a freak and this, that, and the other, and blah, and tell me what to do, and blah, 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 and he's having sex, and you know, and he ain't touch her, he didn't touch her at all. I mean, he could be. He could be. He could be that classic undercover brother. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's That's just not, I he's just not giving him. feminine. He's just not giving me that feminine energy that I was getting from Shaq. It is what it is. But yeah, he could be gay. Who knows? But I don't think so because immediately he went to his buddy's house, cheese, and but he's you already don't see him with women. That's, That's all. Fun. That's cool. all talk. All that, you know, mm-hmm. oh, hook me up with your girlfriend. That's all he did the entire time. Was and talk. I feel like with him, like, we can go back to Chris and Paige. Chris did yeah. not want her, did not think he was attractive, but he was banging her every time she let it let him that, have it. That is if you true. Are so You're right on that one. Women, if you are so into women and a woman lays it out for you, and you go, oh, no, no. An attractive woman lays it out for you. Yeah. She wasn't she want ugly. No. You right on that one. And he could That's he could have did stuff. He didn't have to look in her face. He could exactly. have did stuff. At- exactly. <laughs> hey, turn off the lights. Keep it dark. Listen, you're, you're on to something because you know what? You you guys are right. He talked a good game, but you never saw Fire. him even in the Fire. beginning. In the beginning, with like the matchmaking show, you never saw him when they were doing his little background thing. You never saw him in the streets with women, or he was this like, hmm. you know man whore but another thing it was he overdid it it wasn't yes. like it was a man it was a regular you know talking city oh yeah 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 like women he was like always bringing up sex like he was the man oh you're such a you know it just seemed a little bit it's a little bit what's your favorite position on the honeymoon yeah it's like unnecessary I've been doing orgies right right mm-hmm. i mean and he showed his ass at decision day two afterwards i mean it was it was classic like toxicity like he was mad like a mm-hmm. typical dude right. like oh can i get your number i'd like to take you out and then you're like well no i'm just not interested i'm just you know or, or i'm eating dinner by myself and that doesn't mean that i need you to come talk to me and then you you politely tell them i'm not interested and what's the first thing they well fuck you bitch mm-hmm. who do you think you are you ain't all that anyway mm-hmm. ugly bitch oh please been there done that <laughs> I've been there, Damn. done that. <laughs> oh, I've had that happen to me tons of times. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. They just get their feelings all hurt. I don't think that Aris is a person that approaches women. Like, I think he has other people do his dirty work for him as far as, like, hooking him up. Because he was all in Cheese's girl's mouth. Like, you know, get your friends, get your girlfriends, introduce me to your friends. And he's giving them. It was almost them- too much, though. It was almost, it was yeah, almost like- it was just for the cameras. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see though next week. It'll be interesting. I'm tired of this show. Oh <laughs> child. Um <laughs> well we already will let's go to Clint and Gina. We already knew how that was gonna end. I still like no Clint. He's so gracious he's seen, you know what I mean? Love Clint. He's so he feels very gracious. He's very he's very mature. Yeah. He doesn't apologize for who he is. No, you know, he says, you know, and she's just evil. She's just like when she was talking to her girlfriend, talking about um, he, he's just weird and makes me feel uncomfortable. And I was like, oh, he's so look- crass. Like the things yeah. that he says, like it's like just so crass. And I'm just like, I I'm like, what does that say about me? Because I absolutely adore Clint. Like the way that he is. I'm like, oh, my God, I love this guy. Clint ain't got nothing to worry Gemma. about. Hmm? He's not he like Gemma. I'm sorry. Don't I cross contaminate. Like Gemma, who is just as crass as Clint on UK. Oh no, 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 no. Don't you even disrespect Clint. 
by even lumping him, comparing him to Gemma. Gemma was just a pig. Damn. Oh, sorry. She Damn. was not that bad. Damn. Damn. I can wow. see why, I can see why when, I mean now we're gonna flip flop because I can see why Matt don't get me started. I can see why wow. Matt wasn't attracted to her. She gave, I mean, honey, like Tupac always says, he don't I don't want it if it's that easy. That was don't worry. So it wasn't that easy. It was her husband. Well, what, exactly. But you're still a stranger. So I so I agreed to come on married at first sight. But technically, you're still a, tr a stranger. I don't need you unzipping your pants and basically throwing your penis in my face, talking about how come you're not touching me? How come you're not looking at me like I'm a hot beef stick? I'd be like, dude, you're just asking him to fucking show some affection, any affection. He didn't show any affection. She not like the other people the were. Top. She's just a pig. I'm sorry. I didn't like her. Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. That is horrible. <laughs> that is, oh, man. Oh. She is not a pig. Ah, I'm sorry. sorry. She, she is. is. All right. Who's who's next? We got, okay. Anything Nicole and Chris. <laughs> Nicole oh, and Nicole Chris. was messy. You missed it, Chris. Nicole was all kinds of messy at the group dinner. She put it out there in front of everybody and was like, so, well, Dominique left. Dom, like, mm -hmm. ate her, had her little drink, made her little small talk and was like, yeah, guys, so, yeah, I'm out. I got mm -hmm. shit to do. She's like, I'm done with you people. And then Nicole's like, so, um, uh, what's her name? Gina and Dom. I mean, Gina and Dom. Gina yeah, and Mac. 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 Yeah, she's like, Gina and Mac you know, you guys are single, you know, why don't you guys like, well, what are your thoughts? What do you guys think about maybe getting together? And Clint's face was like, bitch. You don't like her anyway. Clint does mm. not like her. Mm. No, I don't like her at this point. She's just, you know, it's like, come on, Nicole. I'm happy for her. I'm happy that her and Chris are together. But stop being trying to be the Dr. Phil psychologist of the and Matt. She's always been that way. She's yeah. always been sticking yeah. her nose in everybody's That's business oof. and saying shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I know Chris don't like that shit neither. But then again, sometimes he he chimes in too sometimes. So maybe he does like it. Oh yeah, she brought that up and um I guess they're open to go to coffee, but after seeing the preview i guess they end up do going to coffee so mm -hmm. i and still so don't understand what gina okay. sees in mac there is nothing there for mac she thinks clint is crass and clint is too much of a jokester but, but mac lives in somebody's basement it i don't know well, he's I'm about to get a new apartment huh he's about to get a new apartment remember he was looking for a new apartment yeah, he was looking at that big giant house, and I'm like, this is all for the show. Mac, you know you ain't buying that big ass house <laughs> with that pool and that big ass yard outside of the city. Whatever. Well, I guess he could have had a had a time enough to save enough money because you he know. should. If he ain't paying rent, living in the basement, he has no that that's a man that can't talk about I don't have no money. If but he don't, he's just irresponsible. He but anyway, he's I, a project oh, manager. <laughs> And then wasn't Clint, isn't he kissing, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, who, who marched out? Uh, Dom. Yeah, Dom. Supposedly, yeah. yeah, supposedly next week he goes on a, he, he meets But I said that, he said she wanted a venture and he was sailing yep. as those two need to yep. be together. So maybe, I don't know. I, I think they would be a good match. Her as being, not, not that she's not good enough, I still think she's too young. Yeah, yeah and he's yeah. 41, remember, he's 41, yeah. she's 24. Five was she? 25. Yeah, she's 25. Yeah, I think I think Dom and Clint think probably much, they'll probably sure. they'll probably have sex. They'll probably go out and maybe have sex. That's I fine. don't think that he'll want to do okay. make it anything more than that than you know just to lay in the, the bed. She's childbearing years. He can knock out a couple three kids. That is and true. guys are stupid. They don't think like a 41 year old say, Oh, I can get a 25. He he he'll go for it if she's if that she's is getting. true. I just don't think it's a good match for him. Mm -mm. But he's like, fuck you, Shahida. You don't know what I need. <laughs> but then again, it could be a good match because he's he's very social. He mm -hmm. likes to get his little cocktail drinks in. He's you know 
on his boat. She's still obviously 25. She's still outside in them streets and doing her she's little. So mature though, she's so God. mature. I mean, let's. I, so I, I'm curious to see how their interaction goes next week. But he also goes on another date with a new woman. Listen, I don't feel bad for Clint. Clint is about to be the king dingling of Nashville. Trust me. And Gina has to live in the same building with him and watch all these parade of hot girls going to see her ex-husband. She don't care. Not at all. She has such disdain for him, too, which is so weird to me. Yeah, yeah it is weird. Jealous. Huh? She's jealous. She's jealous of his, he's got, he's got like star quality that she doesn't have. And she's just, she's pouting because every, he, he walks in a room and he lights up the room and that everybody loves true. him. Yeah. She's jealous of him. That is a show. Everybody loves Clint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she could, I mean, yeah, maybe it is jealousy. Cause I'm like, she could just like tailgate off of that. I mean, you will be the part of the it couple, the fun couple. When people see you and your your man come in, they're going to be like happy to see both of you if you're just as entertaining. You don't have to be as entertaining as him, but all you got to do is be a good side piece. Chill. She yeah. Is, well, maybe she is jealous, but she has the other... But I think it's more so that she just doesn't like him because you can be jealous. She, like Chris said, she has such disdain. Yeah. Like, why would he make you uncomfortable? Right. That doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know if something happened be behind the cameras that she just, I, because I, I, it just can't be the fact yeah. that he said he prefers a thinner woman. No, he didn't say he prefers. He said he's dated. He's dated he's women. Dated. He's, right. He's yeah. preference. He just. Right. I mean, it can't be that that she's, you know, marinated on that for eight weeks. I think so. I, I, I can't see that. It, it's got to be something else. I don't know. I mean, the man was loves her dog. I mean, he was like, I, I thought he was going to actually shed tears when she left with Hank. And he's like, who's your Hank? This is my Hank. Oh, my baby Hank. <laughs> she needs to just sign that dog over to him because Hank will have so better life with Clint than with mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. um, he just needs to get a dog. And then he'll go to the dog park and he'll have like 50 women chasing him. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about Clint. I, when Clint was talking with his little friend, when he moved back to his apartment and he was like, you know, I'm 41. And I'm like, Clint, don't even worry about that. It's, it's a man shouldn't really worry too hard about that as opposed to a 41 year old woman that's never been married and stuff. It's, you know, it is what it is, but Clint ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't think Clint is going to be single too, unless he chooses to be mm -hmm. single. Clint ain't, mm -mm. He gonna find her. How how old is Gina? Because does she want children? Isn't she thirty? Isn't she thirty six? I think she's like mid thirties. Let me find mm -hmm. out. Yeah, because I'm thinking she, I'm thinking she she was saying that she wanted a family and you know she's talking about kids and husband. Well, girl, you need to move. Yeah. She wants to be a mogul. I mean, she's all about her business. So. I mean, you could be all about your business, but you know, she she's claiming that's what she wants. Yeah, that whole yeah. family thing. So, well, well, we shall see. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we'll see if Mac's gonna give it to her. Ugh, that's just mm -hmm. a weird looking couple. I'm sorry, the two of them together, they just don't, they just don't look like a, you know, like a matching couple to me. It's so funny to think. Thirty six. She's thirty six. Thirty six. Fans think Gina is a big catch. Yeah. Vanessa, what was you going to say? That was in January. Well, the, the after show last week when What's Her Name came out as gay, who was uh, married to, uh, I was like, woo! Um, <laughs> uh, what's her name? Yes! Alexis. Alexis. And now Tanya that? didn't call her gay. She didn't She didn't have a radar on that, on that woman. I sure <laughs> did. Right, exactly. She said, oh, he knew that I was bisexual. I was shocked. Yeah, I was shocked. Was happy with whoever this girl is. Like, All right. I thought I thought her man was gay. I mm -hmm. I would have never pegged Alexis to be gay. Well, she's bisexual, so 
did they say what was, was what he was up to? No. Uh, they just asked if they communicate, and she's like, "No, we haven't talked." Since. When these couples break up, what, why else would they? Why would they talk to an, an, any other? Time? I mean, I can see, I can see it. I mean, if it was like amicable, like I can see Clint and Gina, you know, still having a rapport and and saying hi to each other and being cordial. Why? Because um, she don't like him. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just thinking. She asked him to watch Hank. She was going away in this episode. She when they were leaving, she's like, you know, I do have a business trip or something coming up. If you, it's up to you if you want to watch Hank while I'm gone. And he's like, oh, of course. Yeah, but that's just because you want someone to take care of your dog, and you know who's going to take course. care of the dog. And she ain't got to pay for a sitter. And she, have to pay, and she don't have to pay to board him. I mean, yep. of course. Yeah. And if he's stupid enough to do it, then then hey, I wouldn't say stupid enough. I mean, that's just like you know, he would because he loves the dog, so of course right. he would do it. I hope he kidnaps the dog, or holds wow. the dog holds the dog ransom. That would be epic. Um, so how would you sum it up? Like this this season, these couples, how would oh, you sum them up? Because awful. it was it was so oh, it was terrible. Painful. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all right now, uh, and and. Our YouTube crew has is just literally wants us to give up U.S. married at first sight altogether wow. and focus on UK because UK. UK is everything, Vanessa. You got to get that direct TV shit taken care of and you got to watch it because I'm telling you, just whew, Thomas. Oh, Thomas is the tatted one, the big, the big tatted no, one. Oh, that's Matt. No, that's Thomas Matt. is the gay one. Thompson. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. You bitch. You're a fucking oh, bitch. When he said to Whitney, you're a liar and you're a adulterer. I flatlined. You're a liar and you're an adulterer. <laughs> I'm not. I don't, don't you, trust me, don't bitch. Don't you come for me. Don't you come for me. And I, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. But did you notice she, he sounded just like his mother? Yes. He sounds just like the whole inflections. He sounds just like his mother. Oh. Just like his mother. I, I like Thomas. I like Thomas. Thomas is a little over the top. Thomas is Thomas is he's that a person. Lot over the top. Thomas is that person that he's the classic person. We all know several people like this, or we're related to people like this. Class, he's that classic person that he likes to dish it. He <laughs> wants to dish it out and mm -hmm. read you for filth mm -hmm. but when you even so much as part your lips to say something about him, or try, try to him. him or try to give him some advice or an opinion he's like i'm not talking to you <laughs> i don't like your you, opinion you, you you're all fraudsters <laughs> he just, he's like you're all fraudsters i don't like you i don't like 90 percent of you i only like you you and you did you see it was interesting, though, how conservative he was dressed around his parents. Oh, yeah. And then that next thing at the girls' the girls night, he had on, he went with the Oh, he was full cool face makeup. So I, I, remember, I will give him that. He did. He beat his face to the gods, though. He looked really good. I was a little pissy because I was like, damn. So, Ness, have you I seen I don't even know how to put on eyelashes, bastard. He's fucking got full-on lashes, and he knows how to conceal and contour. And I'm sitting there like, I just got my little lip gloss here that I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you seen any of this? You, you I saw seen? 16 and 17 when we first, the couple weeks ago. The bat so when they went you, out to the house. Did you see that Gemma and Matt aren't? Split? Yeah. Oh, so you know, remember Whitney. The, the oh, you Whitney old was girl. Whitney with the what? Who, she, the was a, she was a bitch. The black girl had such yeah. an attitude. Yes. They, Whitney and Matt. Right. Because they left, were flirting. Yeah. Left their, 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 their play. And now they're together. Okay. They're on the show together. Right. And has told each other they love each other. They're the only, they've only been together for like, what, three days. And they're the only couple that has said the L word to each other. Their face. Right. That shit had me dying. But you know what? I'm telling you, I think it's, well, from I'm going to go off of Whitney because Whitney, obviously, the whole time she was just so miserable. miserable. Yeah, yeah. She And now she's just like, 
it's like this breath of fresh air and she has like emotions like she actually smiles <laughs> okay, so you know what? Just like Gemma. <laughs> no, Gemma didn't do anything wrong. No, Gemma didn't do anything. I didn't, wrong. I didn't say she did anything wrong. She was just a pig. She was just too damn forward. All she talked about was sex. But touch she me. stopped doing that. Touch me. After Lay the, with me. Kiss me. Let's have after a shag. Let's fuck. Let's do that this. Was after like, the first, Yo, that's not then cool. she stopped doing that. She didn't do it at all, at, at all after that. After hey, it's just Express she was saying it jokingly because she was nervous and trying right. to find some type, you know, and that's an insecurity that some women have where, you know, oh, I I know a common ground would be at least that he'd want to go to bed with me. That would be common enough. And that's yeah. why she was doing that. And then when he expressed that that's not what he wanted and that's what he was looking for, she stopped. stopped. Yes. One episode, we saw her do that. And you held it on for every single episode. Yeah. And called her a pig. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not taking that back because I stand by it. Oh, I just, I'm sorry. Why? That's hard. Mm -mm. She was, she was, she was nice just girl. way too, way too nice forward for me. Mm -mm, I didn't like her. I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad Duke is gone. And I already knew that when Matt and Whitney, that is just good television. They are not stupid. I already knew when they sat in front of them experts and and the I forgot his name. Um, like I said, you couldn't Paul, do it. Paul Brunson. Paul Brunson was like, if it were up to me, I I'd be like, y'all gotta go. Yeah. But I saw that clip. I knew that they were staying. Yeah, then, but I'm saying to myself, a while to get they ain't letting them go. That that is good television. I tell you what though, um that Keisha and Kwame. Oof, Kwame is ass. He that's is the two, a that's dick. The two black, the two black no, I know, boys. I know. I, I remember, the, yeah, because she was cooking for him, and yeah. So they had a home visit, and she <laughs> took uh, she took him to her home, and so the home, and he took her to his area, his the park. park, the park, because he said he didn't, he didn't feel comfortable. Um, he's very private. He didn't feel comfortable bringing her to his house. I think. In it's my right. Thomas voice, in my Thomas voice, I think Kwame is a fraudster. He's a liar. He's a, he's a liar and he's a fraudster. I think he's a fraudster. I think Kwame isn't living how he portrays to everyone how his lifestyle is. That's why he didn't want to bring her to his living accommodation. He's probably like in a shack or something. He's probably in a, if he is in a nice house, he's probably got like four or five roommates. Okay. He's probably not living by himself. And when he said, here's the thing what disturbed me the most when he was like, I'm private, then don't go on a, a, a marriage making show. Or well, TV period. And then don't, um, then he said he was secretive. And I'm saying to myself, why are you so secretive? Like, then don't go on this show. And then the fact that she took him to her house. See, that is me. I'm I'm like that tit for tat bitch. Like, if you're going to parade me around your neighborhood park and then tell me to my face that you don't want to bring me to your home, then you're not coming nowhere near my house. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you what I got. I'm going to take you to the neighborhood park up the street. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be like, this is my neighborhood that I live in, but I'm not, you're not coming into my house. You're not coming anywhere near my house. Vanessa, Probably. I'm nosy. You was too happy on that phone. My my grandson is on his way up for the holiday weekend. So I'm like, I, I knew it. I knew it was. I knew it was. I'm like, she, she, was, she, she, had, had, she, she had that, 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 that mumsy look on her face. Yeah, like she lit up like a Christmas tree. Like yeah, yeah. he's on his way. Oh, Gilly. Oh, and it's, oh, this is going to be the first time that it meets the um, doggies, right? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, I usually keep them in my room and not let them out just because I don't want them to drop and knock them over and stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, so, that's going to be fun. You put them on top of Roscoe. Like nine feet tall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, I mean, they're, they, yeah. Well, he can ride them dogs. <laughs> like, put a little saddle on the dog. Lock them up when I come to your house and r ransack your bathroom. <laughs> Here we go. Now you're going to have to get security. Oh. 
Well, we I'm I'm pretty sure you've got security cameras, so you gonna see your ass coming from a mile away, and them floodlights is gonna come on, and yeah. then Westchester Popo gonna be on your ass, and I'm gonna be sitting here on my deck like I don't, I don't know you, girl. You don't know me. We're done with the U.S. version, right? We, oh God, about. yes, we're done. I mean, we do didn't we even know talk what's next. Do they? We didn't do they even talk about Chris and Nicole? Did they tip what cities next? Was there any kind of indication or no? Dallas. Uh, oh. That's what I heard. It's going to be Dallas. But that might be good, though, because da- I lived in Dallas, and there are some characters in Dallas, man. If they, get some homegrown, there. if they get some homegrown Dallas folks up in there, oh, that's going to be quite eventful. All right. I don't need yeah, Dallas to do anything but freaking vote. That's what. <laughs> I don't care about the matchmaking. I don't care about anything. I need them to get their asses out and vote. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of their governor. I am tired of their. Oh, here we go. Vote, vote, vote. We already know that. You see that DeSantis said, um, NAACP said, warn black people about going to Florida. I don't know why black people are still going to Florida. Leave that state alone. I stopped after the Trayvon Martin. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going there and spending my money. And now it's just the book banning, the the book from um, what's the girl Amanda Gorman? Is it, oh is yeah, they banned her poem. The speech from the poem, right? The, yeah, the, the poem that she read at the inauguration, they banned that. And that woman, that one woman, did not read that poem. If you got racism from that poem, then what's in your soul? Because there was nothing racist. It was about coming together, about uniting after tragedy, about being the best that you can be. And she felt that that was racist. All right, well, I'm all sorry. Takes, I'm all sorry. it takes is one person. Listen, listen, let me just warn everybody now because this isn't, it's going to get far worse before it gets remotely better. Target just took a $9 billion hit or a million dollar hit because they put up their display because it's Pride Month next month and they put their Pride display up in Target with t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, journals, whatever. And people complained and people started boycotting. You think it's going to stop with... Wait, 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 let me finish. Wait wait till Juneteenth. Wait till Juneteenth hits. Okay? And they have, like they do every year, and well, I don't know about y'all's targets and whatever's, but where I'm at, they have like good displays with t-shirts and stuff. Wait till Juneteenth hits. Somebody's going to complain and boycott that. Black History Month, Hanukkah, you name it. This is only the beginning, y'all. But it wasn't so much that they complained. It was that they were going in and harassing, following people to their cars, oh, really? they were putting them in physical harm. Looking over I, the, the signs. Yeah, you know, so I... I don't agree with Target. They should not have taken it down because once you give in to terrorists, you're going to be giving in to them for, you know, oh. go ongoing. Yep. But they they needed to put, increase their security. That's what they should have done. Take some of their money and increase security for their for the workers that are in there. And these people are violent. These people are very violent. I'm I'm I was thinking in my head that the little mermaid, they know all black people are going to be in there. You don't know what these people are going to do in some of these, you know, off state. They already going to your grocery stores. It's just that they're so violent, you know, and the our government is just not ready to call them absolute terrorists. Well, call them out. So anyway, I'm sorry. No, that's OK. Um, <laughs> on a side note, Chris, you're leaving when the fifth? I'm leaving next week. Very good. Shahida, are we still planning? Yeah, I'm going. I'm all right. I'm planning on. You see that that cookie thing? Are we seeing you? Are you? We seeing you in New York? Who? Are we seeing Vanessa? When? June tenth. We're gonna. We'll be in June tenth. We'll be in the city with June tenth. We're gonna go see Fat. I'm taking. Well, we're going to see Fat. Bring your pocketbook. Bring your pocketbook. We we you know. Uh uh. Ma'am, <laughs> gotta keep it. Hold physical. on. You know what? Let's let hold on. Let's end this recording <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look at here, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna come back next week at you, and and we'll see what's up. It's so the last hold on. Last episode. Yeah, hold of this on. Rainy.